Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm installing this head unit. Also I bought this drone the other week and I haven't actually used any of the footage. So here's the footage. Super fun flying that thing and I'm so excited to get my car fixed so I can actually take it to places to get some cool footage. Anyway, let's go jump into putting this in. I guess I should just start by taking the center console and that part of the dash out. Crazy how it wasn't even attached to anything. Because this is already aftermarket, all I gotta do is match the colours, stick it in there, and then put it back in. And hopefully it sits in there nicely like this one did. I really need to invest in some wire strippers. Awesome, now I'm going to plug it in and see if I put all the wires in the right places. <laughs> well, everything works, chucking it back in now. We reached a slight problem. Because this one was so big, it went further back, so it was hitting something against there. I'm just going to have to figure out if I can wedge something behind it. Just trying to do some problem solving. Scotty suggested gluing this foam, surfboard foam to here and here to see if it'll stop it from moving back. I thought of possibly stuffing newspaper in there and just cramming it in there. But then I walked upstairs and I saw this. I think I could cut some out, just jam it behind there. It's better. I'm gonna just take it off one more time, move the foam slightly over, and then see if it works good. Wicked. Everything's all good and done, apart from one thing. It's a Bluetooth mic. Gonna use this little cord they gave me, wrap all the excess up, stick it under the dash, and then stick the little sticky thing here. I think in the future, I'll cut that off here, and then put a bit of sticky something on there so it goes down a bit further, because I don't really need this whole bit of plastic, but for now, as I sit here, it's in the middle of my speedo and my RPM gauge. Okay, next I'm pulling the steering wheel out because there's a little bit of this going on. This one's just a bit nicer up here. Well, I wasn't sure what I should do with the rest of the day, so I'm going to continue making the swing. My plan for today is just to get lots of this time out, so it hopefully starts to look like a wing. <laughs>
Okie dokie, explaining this, I feel like I'm going to have to take all of this foam out. Which I didn't really want to because I've got these boot holes. Off camera, I just went out to the car, got some masking tape, masked off the layer, masked off the center point, measured out the center point, drew a line down so I can line this up. Because there's no point in me trying to get this curve perfect if I'm putting it in a different spot each time on the boot. My goal is to get the inside curve absolutely perfect, fitted up to the boot, and then I can worry about the top side again. Because when I tried to do it the first time, I didn't do it properly. This is Sadly, I think that's going to conclude working on the ductile today. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to go and buy a different type of foam because there are different types of chemicals that can dissolve the foam, but I don't know what sort of damage you're going to do to the fiberglass, so I think it will be better to get some sort of foam I can shape, I can complete it, maybe I could just put plastic over it and then fiberglass it. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put plastic over it before I fiberglass it so I can feel the shell of the fiberglass off the foam. Otherwise, if it's on the car and it's the foam and the fiberglass, it might start to warp or do strange things. Anyway, I'm covered in dust, so I'm going to go jump in the ocean. camera I ended up changing this trim piece. That looks so good. I'm so happy about that. I pulled it off that car because that car's going Tuesday. It was meant to go Monday but the Toyota driver's going to be a bit late. But that's all good. Now it's just this panel that collectively looks like trash. That drone footage just then was heading down to the beach to check the surf and Scotty said she should follow me. So I did. Anyway, I'm going to end the video. Pretty stoked on the way that wing's looking. Not too sure how it's going to end up, but hey, it's first try. Super pumped with the drone. Really enjoying that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Actually, no. See you in about a week. <laughs>